In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Salmon of Knowledge. This is perhaps one of the most well-known tales when it comes to Irish mythology. It's a tale a lot of people learn in school, and it's a tale often passed down through generations as well. As always, I'm leaving the comment section open for criticism, suggestions, or just general comments. Also, if you have any suggestions of future videos, leave them in the comments below as well. With that being said, let's get into the video. The Salmon of Knowledge is a tale from the Fenian cycle in Irish mythology. The story is featured in the Mocniverna Finn, or the Boyhood Deeds of Finn, a narrative detailing the boyhood exploits of Finn McCool. According to the tale, an ordinary salmon ate nine hazelnuts that fell into the Well of Wisdom from nine hazel trees that surrounded the well. This act caused the salmon to gain all of the world's knowledge, and in turn, the first person to eat the salmon's flesh would gain the same knowledge. The poet Finnicus spent seven years fishing for the salmon. When he caught it, it was given to Finn, his servant, the son of Cool. He gave him instructions not to eat the salmon. Finn cooked it and turned it over and over, but when Finn touched the fish with his thumb to see if it was cooked, he burnt his finger on a drop of hot cooking fish fat. Finn sucked on his finger to ease the pain. Unbeknownst to Finn, this action caused the salmon's knowledge to be ingested, transferring the knowledge to himself. When he brought the cooked fish to his master, it was noticed that Finn's eyes shone with a previously unseen wisdom. Finn was asked if he had eaten any of the salmon. He answered no before explaining what had happened. Finnicus realised that Finn had received the wisdom from the salmon, and so gave him the rest of the fish to eat. Finn consumed the rest of the fish and gained all of the knowledge of the world. Throughout his life, Finn was able to draw from this knowledge by simply biting his thumb. This extreme wealth of knowledge allowed Finn to become the leader of his army, the Fianna, and one of the most famed heroes in Irish myth. There are many differing versions of this tale. Some claim the salmon was simply a common fish. Others claim he was immortal and could be consumed and continued to live. The salmon is also believed to be Fintan MacBocra, the wise seer who accompanied Noah's granddaughter Cesar to Ireland. Fintan was able to shapeshift, and due to his nickname, the wise, he is often confused with the salmon of knowledge. The salmon continues to be a popular tale and icon in modern times. In 1999, a ceramic sculpture of the salmon of knowledge was erected in the River Langan in Belfast. The fish is known locally as the Big Fish. The fish is also the logo of the Institute of Technology in Sligo. So I hope you enjoyed this look at the Salmon of Knowledge. As I said in my last video, I have a list of around a hundred ideas that I'd have for videos. Not all of them are Irish mythology, some of them are paranormal stories. Some of them are quite ancient. I also have some personal family stories that I'm going to be telling as well. And as I've said in the past, I have some plans to go out around, you know, different places in Ireland. Filming castles, things like that. But as always, if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.